Hey everyone, just doing a quick video today because I've got an exciting sort of unboxing video for you. Um, so I've been working on my memoir which is going to be released um, next year, I'm going to self-publish it. So I've been in the process of sorting everything out, I've been doing the cover, I've been kind of looking back at my writing and I have in my hands now the proof copy from Amazon. Um, so yeah, let's just take a look. Um, this is actually the first time that I'm doing this with Amazon. Normally I would go to lulu.com for my kind of print on demand stuff. Um, so it's oh, really exciting. So here it is. It's called Gut Feelings, subtitle Coping with Cancer and Living with Lynch Syndrome. So it's, um, all of the stuff that kind of happened to me um, in the last 10 years or so and actually it's just so cool to see it in print and formatted properly and actually it's a really chunky book as well. Um, wow, yeah, it's um, oh, really, really exciting. I'm really happy with um, kind of the, the general how it looks, um, I'm happy with the font that I picked, um, I'm really happy with the margins, which I know is a strange thing to say and, um, you know, it, it should be, it should all be like properly formatted anyway, but I think this is, this is the, the, the best I've ever done with, with formatting a, a, a book. Um, despite doing all of my, my issues of um, Peking Cat Poetry magazine. Um, oh, I am incredibly excited. So here it is. I, um, I sort of did the um, picture myself. So I started off by getting just a, a stock image, um, like a vector graphic of uh, intestine, as you can see. And uh, what I did was I used my iPad, I used Adobe Sketch to just go over that and kind of trace it as a, a template to get me started, took it away, kind of looked at it and I was like, well, I don't really know what I'm doing with it. I don't really know what, what I want to design, um, but let's just see how we go. And then when I was putting these little, uh, if I bring it closer, I was uh, putting these, these little marks in, these little bulges, and I thought, oh, these look a little bit like faces. And I really wanted to get some kind of emotion in there, some um, happy faces, some sad faces. So I thought, oh, just make these into little um, faces so you can see the happy ones and the grumpy ones um, and the little little shocked one there as well. Um, so, yeah, actually really <laughs> happy with, with my um, kind of DIY efforts for the cover because I was really worried that it wasn't going to look professional. And then there's... <laughs> extra intestines on the end on the back as well um so yeah i am oh really really happy with with how it looks initially um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give this to my parents to to have a look at because i think that that they should and i think that they want to um and then make make any kind of last minute edits um to the inside, I think really, really happy in general with, with the layout and the uh, cover and everything. Um, yeah, really, really excited and, and, and happy about it. Um, I can't wait to uh, show everybody next year. Uh, so stay tuned for that and I'll keep you updated on Twitter and things um, with release dates and how everything is going. Um, really hoping that uh, this book will um, be useful for people um, who have uh, the same cancers that I did, uh, people who have Lynch syndrome or um, are going through genetic testing or are a bit worried about things. And it's just um, kind of a sort of summary of, of like the first part is a, a memoir of, of the last 10 years for me and all my, my surgeries and diagnoses and things. Um, and then the second part is um, 
more of a, a kind of self-help thing, more of thinking about uh, the emotional impact of um, cancer survivorship and some things that I've learned along the way. So I'm really hoping that it's going to be something that other people can um, t can really get something out of because it's such, um, I'd say it's a, a labour of, of, of love, but it's actually the hardest thing that I've ever written. And that's part of the reason why I've, I'm self-publishing it um, because I want to be in control of how much time and kind of emotional labour I spend on it and so that I can say I'm happy to to pull back from from this now and I have control over when when I say it's done it's it's done and that's kind of self-preservation for me but also I want to make sure I'm, I'm happy with it and I want to make sure that other people are going to get something out of it um so I'm really excited to to share it with you um yeah keep uh checking back uh for updates and I'll see you in the new year with my new book. Bye.